To celebrate our 20th anniversary of Lakeland News, we're taking a look back at some of the memorable local stories we've covered over the years. We're calling it 20 for 20. 20 stories in all, one for each of the 20 years we've been on the air with Lakeland News. Tonight we bring you a feature I produced in 2003 on a real-life rink of dreams in Bemidji. Here's a portion of that story. Two years ago, Brian and Chris Hammett decided to turn their backyard into a winter wonderland for the neighborhood. Kids young of age and young of heart share the rink throughout the winter. It's cool, really cool. It's fun just that you can just come down here and just play whenever you want. It comes complete with a small warming house, a neighborhood manned maintenance crew, a homemade Zamboni, and amenities only moms can provide. What I look at the rink is uh, is a way of a family spending time together, uh, kind of restoring the, the American value of family, and that's real important to me. Um, everybody works so hard today, and when we come home, um, we're out with our family, and we were out all night long. There are 17 families in the Beltry neighborhood, and just about every one of them has children. I think there's roughly 25 kids in our neighborhood. Uh, enough to field our own BHS varsity hockey team um, in about 2010. And that rink of dreams is still going strong. This winter will be the Hammett's 17th year with the rink, and the family has been told it will be likely featured during the Hockey Day Minnesota broadcast from Bemidji this winter. A log cabin warming shack was added with a sauna to the rink in 2011. Several of the neighborhood boys have gone on to play for the Bemidji Lumberjacks, including two of the Hammett boys. Tanner just graduated from Bemidji High and played two years on the varsity. Tate will be a sophomore next year and was a starting defenseman last year as a freshman. And one more could be on the way. Eight-year-old Trent was not born when our story initially aired, but he's now a third-year mite. You can watch that entire story on our website, lptv.org, tomorrow. Next Wednesday night, we take a look back at a story from 2004. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.